Okay, so this is an introduction to our new secure email application. Now, if a referring doctor wants to send you an email, what they'll do is they'll go to Referring Doctors, or they'll click a link that we're going we're gonna to give you to put in your footer of your all of your outgoing emails that will link directly to this as well. Anyway, so then they'll click on Send Us a Secure Email. They'll fill out the form. They can obviously write whatever they'd like. Then they'll attach as many files as they'd like. They have a 20 megabyte limit here per email, but we can increase that if you'd like. Uh, just an additional cost of 20 megabytes is with the basic package. Uh, if they need to send, you know, more than 20 megabytes, they can always send you multiple emails. But just per email, it's 20 megabytes. Anyway, so then they hit Send Secure. And then it's sent, just like that. Um, now, you, what we'll do is, we will then, I'll show you how this looks when we receive it. So, when we re receive it, you'll open up Outlook. This is an Outlook. Now, what you do is you just sign in using this little Outlook plugin that we have. And it should. Decrypt message for you right there. Now, you'll see, here's the message, just like that, and it's got your radiograph attached to it right here. Obviously, this isn't a radiograph, but this is a contact button. Anyway, so, uh, there you go, and then uh, if you hit reply, you'll just hit reply, and you can then send them an email. Uh, one little caveat is that you need to copy the from email address and paste it just like that, and now you can reply as you would normally. Now, when you're going to send an email, uh, you'll see it says message protected here. So, uh, when we hit send, it'll prompt you to sign into your email. Normally, there'll only be one email address in this case here. Um, I have a couple because I've been testing it. Here we go. We sign in. Uh, now, this is kind of cool. So, if you're sending the message to someone who doesn't have an account set up in the system already, which is going to be most of the time, uh, all you, you can have two options here. You can do a shared secret, which is what's their shared secret code, or whatever you want. You can type in, like, what is uh, your front desk's dog name, something like that, and it's Fido. Uh, or you can do phone verification. You can enter in the office phone number, and that way uh, they can verify their identity simply by picking up a phone uh, and then getting a secret password that way. Um, or no verification, of course, then this is just the normal way of, you know, non-encrypted. So anyway, so we'll use the user credentials just for this case. We set, send now says authorizing sending and then it's sent just like that anyway so that makes it pretty simple um, you lets you continue to work with your uh, existing email applications, such as Outlook, um, and allows you to send using your existing email addresses uh, and everything like that. Uh, anyway, so I think this is a great solution, and if you have any more questions, of course, just let me know.